The gift giving season may be over, but gift selling is a year round effort. And for the just concluded Miami gift show at the Merchandise Mart, business has been good, despite the city's recent troubles. Did the disturbances in Overtown hurt the show at all? I feel it had to. Our customer count was way down from what it was, at least what we thought it was last year, but our total volume at the show was considerably higher. Town. Others think Still Reaganomics had more had impact than Overtown. Uh, had very little uh, effect overall, I think. Uh, and primarily the effects uh, we feel in the show are the economy. The show, open only to retailers, was a good barometer of shifting American tastes and fads. Pac-Man fever has abated before an E.T. epidemic. Exhibitors offered a wide assortment of articles featuring the winsome alien, as well as gear for the next Star Wars installment. There were items for those who like clowns, and those who don't. One of the newest items at the show is called the Tangle, developed by an artist in San Francisco. It allows anyone to be his own sculptor. There's a fake rock you can hide a key in, underwear for two, personalized adhesive tape, and a latex octopus that shimmies down windows. Gifts for the romantic and the disillusion. And against all this with it competition, what's judged the most popular gift item in America today? the dowdy old picture frame. Jack Curtis, Channel 4 News.